<laughs> All right, for those who don't know me, my name, awesome. For those who don't know me, my name is Meredith Oram. I am a fitness and nutrition consultant at Below the Fork where I encourage women to love themselves towards healthy. I am a certified group fitness instructor and a certified health coach to be. Uh, so today I want to talk about what a healthy relationship with food looks like. Um, I get this question a lot, particularly in my fit campers, because I say at the beginning, you know, like I said, my goal is to encourage women to love themselves towards healthy. And what that really means, that's just a pretty way of saying that I want you to feel confident in your food choices and that you feel that you are in control of food and that food is not in control of you. And that's a huge switch for a lot of people. Most diet plans, uh, and even some fitness plans too they focus so much on the weight loss that a lot of people lose sight as to why they're even in the program because really the reason you should be in a program is to be healthy and to have a good relationship with food and in order to do that you need to get deeper in than just what the scale says so probably I have three uh, sort of I mean there's more to this too but my top three of what a relation healthy relationship with food looks like number one saying no confidently and what I mean by that is you have the knowledge of the food that makes you feel your best if you are out at a social gathering you've already sort of scanned what foods available and you can say no to the Doritos but you know that because later you're going to indulge in um, maybe a, a slice of birthday cake or something um, and, and being able to do that confidently and not feel that you you know have to do the, the old southern thing of you know taking it because somebody's offering it to you is just saying no thank you um, and you know moving on people are so nice about that and I you know as someone who has has to eat gluten free uh, I just say no thank you no one ever is like what why not I made this special you know that that's just not a thing I think it's something we make up in our minds hey Alyssa oh I love that I have fit campers on here um, so I was just going over tip number one for what a healthy relationship with food looks like and that's saying no confidently number two and this, these all kind of go together too choosing thoughtfully so that food serves its purpose and not feeling guilty about it. What do I mean by that? I mean, you have your special treats, you have your um, family recipe. So like, what's the next holiday? Memorial Day this weekend, right? Okay, so on Monday, a week from today, uh, you're gonna have a party maybe with your family and maybe your your mom makes this like ridiculously good dip and you know it's not on plan at all but that is like the only she makes it twice a year maybe she makes it Memorial Day and she makes it fourth of July and you know already that you are going to have some of that dip and you're not going to feel guilty about it. I know I have a dip like that. It's super simple. It's cheese, uh, cream cheese and salsa, not healthy at all. But that is like, we only make it twice a year and uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy that and not feel guilty, but I've chosen it thoughtfully. I've already decided, you know what? I know that they're probably going to have Klondike bars or something after, um, after our barbecue. I'm going to skip that because I know that I would rather have this, um, this dip. So not only have you chosen saying no confidently to some of the foods that you've already decided you don't want, but you're choosing thoughtfully the food that serves its purpose. So like a family recipe, um, you have a special memory or it is a truly special event. When I say truly special event, I mean, it's like, you know, your birthday, <laughs> uh, a holiday, not like, oh, I walked a quarter of a mile. It's a special event. I'm going to give myself a treat for that. So number three is knowing when you've gone too far and need to reel it back in. And I think this one out of everything is the most, imp exactly Cassie, exactly, totally guilt free wine for that. That is truly a special event once in a lifetime. So knowing when you've gone too far and need to reel it back in. So that would be, you know, maybe you've just had a couple weeks where you're really stressed out. You've had something happened with your family, you've had finals and exams, or um, you know, a host of other just really stressful things. It's being able to identify that, whoa, you know what? I'm way too much off, off plan. Exactly, you will. And it's having the confidence that, to know that you will bounce right back. So I had did a scope, was it Friday, maybe Thursday, about the importance of red flags. And this is one of those red flag moments, just knowing 
Um, like already for me, and this is the part where I'm going to admit that I wasn't a hundred percent on, um, the fit camp plan with you guys, but I did have ice cream a couple times this past week. Cause it was like, Oh, like this new ice cream shop opened, uh, within walking distance of our house. And my son graduated from kindergarten. We had all these sort of little special events and I had ice cream like two or three times. And like, I have felt that like I am feeling it today. Today I'm like hundred percent on plan, like feeling a little bit better but still sluggish because ice cream does not make me feel my best but I saw that red flag and I knew to reel it back in and to get back on plan so that's really what a healthy relationship with food looks like and notice I never ever said that you eat perfectly or that you work out every day or that you are you know 100% paleo and never enjoying any of your treats it's actually quite the opposite it's being aware of what you're eating and why the key focus there being the why so again with that family recipe or that special event that memory that ties into something enjoying that wine for your bachelorette party you're not going to feel guilty about it you've already sort of like planned accordingly and knowing what to to pick and choose to balance it all out because that's the balance and then knowing if you have indulged if you have gone too far if memorial day kind of just turns into this like sort of like bad day overall um, and I've been there, I know, like the wine starts pouring or I can't drink beer anymore, but like, you know, something like that. Um, I get it, but you know what? You probably made a lot of memories and you had a great time. So then just get back on plan the next day. Hey Mike, how are you? I'm just wrapping up actually, but I hope you catch the replay. So thank you guys for joining me. Again, my name is Meredith Orem. You can find me below the fork on all social media channels. Um, I actually haven't um, come up with my next date for um, my Love Yourself Towards Healthy Fit Camp. Uh, my current Fit Campers, you guys are on week four, which blows my mind how quickly that has gone by. So probably in the next three weeks, I will have a new launch date ready to go. So if anyone's interested in that, um, you know, tell your friends. Uh, I, I will have a date shortly. So I hope you guys have a lovely night. Hope that was helpful to you. and. Have a great night. Bye.